Hi, this is a follow-up video to my previous one, which I'll link in up here, yeah, over here, if you haven't uh, seen it, about um, my Tagano microscope, a issue I found uh, with it, which looked like it was, we originally thought, found it during a live show, I originally thought it was the Tagano microscope that had like this uh, black screen sinking kind of frame issue, um, and found this during the live show, we did some experiments, and uh, we then discovered that it looks like it was my uh, Blackmagic ATEM uh, Mini Extreme, which I use for switching my live show and doing my recordings and everything else. Sorry about the uh, quality of this uh, video, it's been shot with uh, potato vision um, with my webcam. Um, so, anyway, I don't think it's the Blackmagic at fault, I think. The Tagano is dodgy. It's a zip model um, that I got back in way back in 2014. <laughs> the reason I'm suspecting that if there's something dodgy going on with the video output of the Tagano microscope, as I mentioned in the previous video, a well, it came with a special cable. There it is. I, I believe I think that's the original label, or did I label it? Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, it's. I believe it came with a note. Um, it, when it, I originally got this thing back in 2014, so it is pretty old now, I got a note um, saying that you have to use this supplied cable, HDMI cable with it. There's two ways to get video out of this. One is via HDMI, the other is via USB uh, 3 output, which I is hooked up but I don't use it. It goes into the HDMI output for the video switcher. So this is uh, full um, HD at uh, 60 frames per second and the uh, Blackmagic A10 can handle that no problems whatsoever. It doesn't record in uh, 60 frames per second. It can easily handle 60 frames per second input. So we're getting drop frames and it was only happening on the Blackmagic. It wasn't happening when it was plugged directly into this monitor but now, it's probably going to make an idiot out of me. <laughs> but anyway, here it is hooked up to a, an external uh, ASUS um, monitor. Uh, this is my Pro monitor, and I don't get the issue yet. We don't get the sync. You know, there's no drop frames. There's no black screens. There's no... I can't make that happen, okay? Um, but let me actually do what I did last time, and th that's using the special Tagano cable. Now... This one is using the same cable I used in the previous video. It's just another junk brand HDMI one. So I'll plug that in. Might have to repower it. So let's repower that. And I'm now, it's not working. Whereas before it was. And I was able to get like a weird, like one, is it gonna make, it's gonna make a, no, look, see, it's this weird color, right? This is, this is not normal. I, I don't know if you can see that, but there's yellow and all sorts of stuff in there. Professional color. Oh, no, come on. There we go. It's back. Okay. And oh, it's upside down. All the electrons are going to fall out. Look, it's got all these blue lines, all sorts of stuff happening in there. The, um, this is supposed to be black. This PCB up here is black. It's got blue tinges. All, all the black, it's got all these blue lines going over it. And if I wiggle the cable, it ain't the cable. Okay? So there's something, it was working the other day, and now it's not working. Exactly the same cable, exactly the same monitor. Anyway, what I've done is plug that in to this monitor up here. This is a um, ASUS uh, monitor, and it works just fine and dandy, right? There's no issue with that at all. So there's obviously something in the H like okay maybe it's a poor quality cable maybe someone will say but but let me switch it back okay this is the original cable which came with the Tagano so oh yep there there we go right so that's working just fine and this is a uh, professional grade monitor. This is Pro Art. I did find this dumpster, but it's a professional, you know, color gamut monitor. So like really high end. Um, I don't know how much it was originally, but it's real uh, huge and thick, and it's yeah, you know, it's got you know, scale on it and all sorts of stuff. It's designed for professional um, editing. So <laughs> this monitor is one of the uh, best ones you can actually get. Um, so yeah, color balance is a bit off, but so that's working fine. Okay, and I don't get 
uh, the sink in, zoomed in, sink in problem that we're seeing, okay? But watch this, the Tagano microscope is supposed to have an on-screen menu, okay? So we do actually get the on-screen menu when we, oh, yeah, yeah, like it says zoom over here, okay? But if I press down the center button for five seconds, it's supposed to go into a menu mode, okay? And one, two, three, four, five, come on, six, something like that. Boom, right? And it goes blank. There is no menu. I have tried this on, yeah, and it just says no HDMI signal. I've tried this on this monitor, the BenQ monitor, um, and the other ASUS monitor, and my Samsung monitor via a DVI adapter as well. I cannot get the text menu which shows up in this. And I swear I have used it like once before, many decades, you know, a long time ago, but I just set it to, you know, the output to 1080p, um, 60 frames per second, and the lens magnification and stuff like that. But it's supposed to have that output. It is not working. This camera, I reckon, is dodgy. Um, <laughs> leave it in the comments down below if your bet is now on the Tagano or it's still on the uh, Blackmagic um, ATEM. I reckon, like, okay, the Blackmagic probably should have handled that input better. I'm not saying there's no issue with Blackmagic, and they are looking into it, uh, by the way. Um, they've contacted Tagano and um, trying to get some technical information, uh, like what uh, color gamut output it's using and all that um, sort of, you know, jazz. So anyway, and heaps of people have left comments in there and uh, in the previous video about, you know, what it could be, all sorts of sync issues and, you know, color uh, gamut was a big one. And a lot of people said, uh, what happens if you have a direct output? Well, I've actually, on my um, uh, ATEM, I've actually, uh, so I switched it through to the direct monitor output. So it's supposed to feed, uh, you know, just the input straight through uh, to the output. And I still get the same issue. Um, so it's obviously some sort of um, HDMI receiver issue in the ATEM um, that's causing it to skip. But I reckon this is a dodgy signal coming from the Tagano. And the Blackmagic just can't handle it as well as a monitor does. Because the monitors all, uh, I've tried four different monitors and they all, hand, they don't have the issue which the ATEM uh, does. But if this thing is outputting some dodgy HDMI signal, which you saw there, um, like it's just, I don't know, there's something something weird with this thing. Okay, it might be a cable issue or something like that, but I, nah, I'm, <laughs> it's just the vibe. The vibe is now pointing towards the Tagano microscope. Anyway, I'll contact uh, Tagano and um, see. And by the way, um, I can't check the firmware version of this. It's supposed to display it when you turn it on, but it doesn't. Um, they're up to version 5.8 firmware uh, for this sucker, which they updated in 2020, I think. And this is a 2014 model, so uh, I haven't updated the firmware. I don't think there's actually a way to update the firmware in this original model. So I, there could be nothing I could do, but yeah, the, <laughs> I reckon the sucker a little bit dodgy. Hmm. Anyway, leave your thoughts, comments down below. Catch you next time.